Have you ever went to go put on contour and it's just way too much and you don't know what happened and it looks really muddy? Or put on blush and there's just way too much pigment. So you're looking like a little doll, but not in a good way. Or put on way too much highlight to the point where it turns really gray, ashy, or just you have too much highlight. So I'm gonna show you how I now fix this and get it to where I don't have to redo my whole face, like take off everything and start from scratch. Cause I already have my skincare primer and my foundation on. It would be just a waste to start over. And I don't really want to. So here's what I do, cause it's actually a lot easier than you think. I'll take my beauty blender with still some of my foundation that I used earlier on it. And then I'll just go over and it's going to really blend everything into the skin and sheer it out a lot. So I'm just going to balance my beauty blender right over the contour. Same with the blush and the highlight. Just remember the key to this is really not grabbing a lot of foundation. It's just mainly like using a little, whatever you have left, the excess on your sponge or your brush. And then only going over the areas that you're trying to sheer out, but not the whole face because you can move the product to everywhere else and then your face kind of turns into this mess. So we have the four. Gorgeous. And after. Pressing the foundation on top of everything, again, it kind of presses the product into the skin but removes the excess. Um, and it kind of lets you start again, which is nice. Now I can come back and try it again. So I'm just going to fix it. So now I'm just gonna do the other side so I don't look, or should I leave it like this and do half and half? Okay, I'll leave it. Uh, we've all been there when you're trying to do an eyeliner and it just looks like crap. Eyeliner, or at least a winged eyeliner, can be really challenging for everyone. So let me show you a little trick on how to clean up a winged eyeliner when you have just completely ruined it. It's really easy, actually. So what you wanna do is grab a primer, either a face primer or an eyeshadow primer that has that dimethicone or like slickness to it. You, that's mainly what you want. Even the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, the original one, that one works really, really well. I don't have that one anymore, but I do have this. And I also have my Makeup Forever mattifying primer. This one works as well too. So I'm just taking a tiny, a little bit, and a Q-tip. I'm gonna dip the Q-tip into the Primer, and I'm just gonna go along where I wanna erase the wing liner. So using the face primer, it removes and like cleans up the lines for you and gives you a good outline of maybe where now I wanna come back and you know fix it without having to remove my whole eye. It will remove a little bit of your makeup. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. I feel like it depends on like the formula I have on my face. But for the most part, like you can always come, like right here, I'm gonna come with a little bit of my foundation and a small brush and just kind of clean up that edge. It's what I do when I'm doing bridal makeup um, and I they want a winged liner and I just messed it up, which is like the worst. Take some primer, clean it up you'll be good to go. You won't have to like redo everything. A lot of people have asked me how to prevent getting fallout with your eyeshadow. Fallout is when you get eyeshadow down here, down below when you're applying it. It's the worst when you already have your foundation on and everything's ready to go. And then you get a ton of shadow down here. You try to sweep it off and it just spreads everywhere. Fallout usually happens when you have way too much product on your brush. A lot of people, they just dig into eyeshadow and they have way, way too much packed. When you start to put it on, it has nowhere to go or nowhere to stick and it starts to fall onto your cheek and whatnot. I feel like a lot of us do it out of habit or we just think like, I wanna get as much eyeshadow as I possibly can. What I do is just grab like one swipe, hold the brush upside down if you have to, that way the brush is gonna catch any of the eyeshadow that wants to fall down and then apply it that way and you shouldn't get any fallout. But it's all about just grabbing less. You know that old saying, less is more, it's true. But start with a little, you could always grab more product and a couple layers instead of trying to grab everything at once. But you won't get any fallout if you just start with a little bit of product and then keep building. I'm doing the most random look right now, but I'm just trying to show you guys. No fallout, fallout. 
Mm, mm. For me, a lot of the times lipstick starts to bleed, especially in the summertime or feather. That's when it starts to just kind of spread out and get all around your lips. It doesn't stay in place, it doesn't look clean, and it could be really frustrating. So let me show you what you can do to prevent this from happening. A lot of brands make a waterproof lip liner that will keep your lipstick in place and like in all day so it does not feather or bleed. Makeup Forever and Urban Decay are two of my favorite brands when it comes to like eyeliners and lip liners because they are so waterproof, you don't have to worry about going anywhere. It's a little bit of a higher price point so it's not always in our budget to go and splurge on every single color lip liner or eyeliner they have. Another option you can do is purchase just one lip liner and that's Makeup Forever, Urban Decay, Sephora brand. A lot of brands make these. It's called the Lip Line Perfector. It's transparent, just wax. It has absolutely no color to it. Nothing's gonna show. And what this does is the wax kind of fills in fine lines, wrinkles around the mouth, but it also kind of creates this barrier so your lipstick or lip liner or gloss or whatever doesn't transfer or spread. This is also nice because if you do mess up, it you can clean easily around the lips. Another option you have is to use your translucent powder. I like to use a small concealer brush. Take a little bit of the powder and then just dab it around the lip. This will also create a barrier so your lipstick, lip liner, lip gloss does not spread or bleed at all. I don't have any like tricks or tips for eyebrows, but I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows really quick, add an eyeshadow color just to kind of finish this look so I don't look so random and I'll be right back. Okay, I added just one deeper shade, a pair of eyelashes, and a brow. I don't really know where I'm going with this tutorial. I just wanted to share with you guys some makeup hacks and like how to clean up your mistakes because it happens to all of us. So the last one I have, because this happens all the time, mascara, you just are feeling all like snatcherella, ready to go out, but you're like, let me just touch up my mascara one last time. So when you get mascara on your nose, let it dry completely. Do not touch it, do not look at it, do not acknowledge it, it's not there. Once it's dry, remember the primer that I used to clean up my eyeliner? We're gonna use that and a Q-tip to just take it right off. I'm taking a Q-tip with the face primer on there. I'm just going to stick and twirl. Face primer can get rid of so many mistakes. Not all of them, but some of them. Ta-da, we're done. And there you go, this is the finished look. I hope this helps you in some kind of way, especially the eyeliner trick. I feel like that one for me, when I learned that trick, it helped me out so much, you have no idea. Let me know if you would like to see more videos like this in the future, just kind of sharing my little tips and tricks. But because um, it's Thursday, I wanted to do a giveaway. This lovely bag filled with some delicious goodies. I have a brush set by BH Cosmetics, a blush palette by Pop Beauty. I have a Cover FX Custom Blot Drops Oil Control Drops. You mix this in with your foundation, so. We have the Sephora Fall In Line Brow Stencil Kit, Sigma Gloss Up Glaze Set, L'Oreal Infallible Correcting Kit, Concealing and Contour Kit, Tony Moly Lip Tone Lip Care Stick. I would love to give this to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and leave a comment down below. One week from today, I'll announce the winner, and then we'll start another giveaway. I just wanna keep this going until I don't have anything left to give, okay? I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you have a good day today, make good choices, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!